can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given two squares having an area of 9 square centimeters and 49 square centimeters, then our goal is to find the shaded region or the area of this triangle. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so, given these two squares, having an area of 9 square centimeters and 49 square centimeters, then our goal is to find the area of this triangle right over here. So, how can we do that? Alright, to answer this question, we will use the given, of course. Now, we know that the area of this small square must be equal to 9 square centimeters. So, it follows that the length of the side of this square must be equal to square root of 9 or simply equal to just 3. Now, the length of the side of this big square must be equal to square root of 49 which is equal to 7. And now, another given is this angle right over here. We can say that this is 90 degrees. Because this segment is the extension of the side of the square. Also, this angle right over here must be a 90 degrees also. Again, with the same reason. So we have two right triangles right over here. We have the first one and we have the second one. Alright. Now, we want the area of this blue triangle. And to find the area of this, we want the base and the height. So this is the base, and let's call this as B. Why not? And the height of this triangle must be equal to H. Now, the area of this triangle must be equal to 1 half times base times height. So now, our goal is to find the value of B times H, and we're done. So the question is how do we find the value of B times H? Alright, so let's get all the unnecessary informations. Now, we know this is a square, so all of this side must be equal. So if this is 3, this side length over here is also 3. Alright? Because this is just a square. Also, if this side is 7, the other side must be also 7. Because again, this is a square. All of this side must be equal. Now, we can see similar triangles. Take note, if we get this angle, we say this is alpha, and this angle must be equal to beta. This angle right over here is also alpha because vertical angles are congruent. If this is alpha, obviously the other angle is also beta because alpha plus beta must be 90 degrees. If this is alpha, the other angle is must be beta. So we have two similar triangles right over here. So now we can use the ratio and proportion. So the ratio of the smaller leg to the longer leg of the small triangle must be equal to h over 3 and must be equal to the ratio of the shorter leg over the longer leg of this big right triangle which is equal to 7 over b. Now if we cross multiply this, we get bh equals 3 times 7. And 3 times 7 must be equal to 21. And that is the value of B times H. And this is what we want. So we know the value of BH which is 21. So we can replace this with 21. Now we can now find the area of this triangle which is equal to 1 half times 21. Or simply 21 over 2 square centimeters. Therefore, our answer to this question given this figure then the area of this triangle must be equal to 21 over 2 or 10.5 square centimeters and as always we are done